are back. Of course, we are moving into our third interview for today. And uh, while it may be our third segment, it is the first interview with the new designated Queen of the Bay, Jenna Lee Cruz from Belmopan. Good, Good morning. Good morning. And joining Jenna Lee, we have Idolis Saldivar, who is the trainer and a member of the Belmopan Queen of the Bay Committee. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, ladies. Is it a good time to take a nice big sigh of relief that it's over? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is, of course, uh, such an important event in our September celebrations. And uh, so many people have been looking forward to it. And I just want to hear from you, Jen Lee. What made you decide to uh, put yourself forward for this pageant? Well... I decided to enter this pageant because it was a way to show my patriotic spirit mm -hmm. and to represent my city and not only my city but my beautiful country Belize. Yeah. So. What was the journey like mm -hmm. in terms of preparing yourself and in terms of the entire process of uh, going to the stage to represent uh, Belmopan and of course you said Belize on the grand stage? Well, um, the preparation was good and it was also kind of bad <laughs> because I had to um, do my um, curtsy and uh, it was painful not to say bad, it was painful, but it was worth it. It was worth it, yes. So uh, did you decide to join the pageant or were you recruited? I was recruited. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it usually happens. And that, br that brings me to Idalia. Idalia, talk to us about being a member of the Belmopan Queen of the Bay Committee. Well, I joined the committee last year. So this is my second year and it feels good, actually. A win here in Belize City as for Queen of the Bay for Belmopan. You know, Belmopan to win Queen of the Bay actually after 11 years. Wow. It's, it's something that's humbling and you're honored to actually like be part of that historic event. Yeah. Um, we trained generally there's a team actually mm -hmm. it was an entire teamwork yeah. to train generally in time for Queen of the Bay prepare her mentally physically everything like just yeah. make sure that she's fully prepared for the pageant yeah and uh, why why did you in your recruitment efforts find that Jenny Lee would be a great candidate for Queen of the Bay well she did Queen of the Bay Belmopan last year mm -hmm. and she was the first runner up. And second, actually, second runner up. Oh, Se sorry. See? <laughs> sorry. Uh -huh. Second runner up. And she, we felt that, you know, getting her to come back again because she was a very strong delegate last year. So it's hard finding some of the delegates because some of some people after what happened last year for Queen of the Bay, sadly, a lot of people did not want to attempt it. So finding her, we asked her dad, the committee approached her and asked her to please like do it again. Yeah. And we found delegates and then she turned out to be there. Yeah. Yes. Let me piggyback on, on the point that you just made in terms of what transpired last year. What was it like rebounding from that stigma that, that the Queen of the Bay took a serious hit in light of what took place at the crowning last year? Well, there's, it's, um, we're trying to resurface the, like an image, mm -hmm. resurface the entire Queen of the Bay pageant. Mm -hmm. And I feel that that generally is a good image of that. Mm -hmm. She's humble, she's a queen. Yeah. And for Belmopan actually, to be the one to reface this image mm -hmm. of what the Queen of the Bay is, we're taking it very seriously. Nice. And we spoke to her already that she should take it very seriously also. Yeah. You know what I find interesting? Sometimes, and I, it's a part of life. Defeat and failure is a part of life. And rebounding is very hard. Just, I think, as, as we saw with uh, the, the terrible incident that took place at last year's crowning, uh, overshadowing the prestige and the mm -hmm. history of this pageant. You know, you came in third, technically, second runner-up uh, last year. What made, you mo what made you feel motivated to go back again and give it another try? Okay, so what made me wanted to go back again is that I know I did great last year, but like I always said that it wasn't my year 
to win. And so I said, I'll do it this year. And then I said, I want to do it again. And then so they came back for me and I'm like, that's a sign, you know, me, they see something in me that I don't see in myself. And yeah. so that made me wanted to join again. Yeah. Um, and what was different about this time? Having had the experience from the previous year? What was different is that uh, I was more prepared for it. Yeah. Yeah. I worked even harder mm -hmm. and everything went smooth and now I'm here. <laughs> but she would have had the, the experience as well because if you were in it last year, you kind of have a feel of what to expect. Uh, mm -hmm. which gives you an edge over those who are par participating for the first time, correct? Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Definitely. Yeah, and so let's bring it to that. We've been talking about the Belmopan uh, pageant. Let's bring it now to the actual Queen of the Bay. Mm -hmm. Saturday night, uh, you know, you go on stage with all these other uh, delegates. They've been preparing. They all have their trainers and their camps as well. Uh, what was the experience like? It was great. It was such a blast. I I enjoyed the entire week staying with the ladies. Mm -hmm. We stayed at um what's the name? Biltmore, the okay. Biltmore Hotel, and we went to visit the Prime Minister. Uh, he educated us on the ICJ mm -hmm. and the whole mm -hmm. Guatemala and Belize dispute, and we also went to visit his wife, Mrs. Kim Simplesparo, mm -hmm. and she gave us a very um, inspirational speech, and. Also, we went to um, visit Sir Colville Young. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot about his history and, yeah. and also um, learned how to say his name because most believe we call we call him um, Sir Colvin or mm -hmm. Calvin and it's Sir Colville Bill. Young. Yeah. Yes, yes, ma'am. And we also went to visit the um, police mm -hmm. um, in Belmopan and also the mayor in Belize City, here in Belize City. Yeah. And uh, I enjoyed doing all of that and also spending time with the girls and getting to know them. Yeah. They were all great. You know, as a 19-year-old girl, this this pageant has so much history, and I think uh, it is often understated as well. But when you learn and uh, do your own research as to what it represents to be the queen of the bay and some of the tradition that's tied into it, I mean, some people are still very much... Um, uh, critical of, of curtsying <laughs> as a part of a pageant, uh, but it is tied back to the history. Yeah. What, what, why did it appeal to you? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you're talking about the curtsy? The, or yeah, the history of the pageant, the curtsy, okay. the tradition that's in it. Okay, so um, it's more about being an ambassador for your country believes. Yeah. It's a patriotic pageant. And uh, it's not something that, it's just being yourself, you know, and being, being how to say, as elegant. As yeah, as yeah. yeah. And um, the, I don't really know the history behind the curtsy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's there from the very first start, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's something really hard to do. It was hard? <laughs> yeah, but they, they pushed me to yeah. do my best. And I had the curtsy. In Bumapan, it was two minutes and changed. Wait, so what, what is the the um, the trick to a winning curtsy? What is what is the right and wrong way? I, I must confess, I haven't curtsied <laughs> before in my life. You know, um, but well, what, is, what, what is the training that goes into that? OK, you have to do squats mm -hmm. and your Although I don't like to do the squat. <laughs> um, you have to have strong legs. Mm -hmm. Not really have strong legs, but just do your squats, you know. And that Miss Idolly told me, um, I shake like a strong tree. <laughs> 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 yes, guys, on my current say it was it was on point, I I must say. Uh -huh. Because they, they worked me yeah. hard for yeah. it. Yeah. You yeah. need to demonstrate poise, grace mm -hmm. during your curtsy. Yeah. And while everyone would shake like a leaf, <laughs> she was shaking like a strong <laughs> tree. <laughs> it requires a lot of balance. Yeah. yeah. And also to not show on your face that yeah. you're struggling because squatting like that is you hard. Just smile it off. Yeah. It's like a big whole squat. So yeah. when you're in pain, you just gotta. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's get into some uh, biographical information on yourself. I guess a lot of people that are watching don't necessarily know much about Jenny Lee Cruz, other than the fact that she's now the Queen of the Bay designate. 
What can you tell us about yourself? Okay, well, I'm 19 years old. I'm originally from Marine Creek. And uh, I'm a singer. I enjoyed singing. Mm -hmm. And I'll be going to school in January. And I enjoy spending time with my family. And I live with my dad, Brother Femme Cruz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the only one I have now. Uh, I have nine sisters and four brothers. Wow. Yeah, I come big from a family. big family. That is a big family. <laughs> yes. That means you had a great support crew at the pageant. <laughs> yes, we did. The entire Marine Creek and Bumblepan people, they, they came out. But a friend brought out the guitar too? <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, a lot of times when people enter pageants, it's with what they call uh, their platform in mind. Mm -hmm. They want to use the crown that they've earned as a way to speak out on something important. What's that for you? Okay, so my platform is basically just working with young people, mm -hmm. not only girls, but also um, young men. And uh, just for them to, to develop a determined mindset, so yeah. in order for them to excel, you know. And like, oh no, I'm the queen, I want to work with, I want to like give back yeah. to other people and you know, and and encourage people to never give up on their dreams. You know, last year I entered the pageant and now I'm here. I never thought I would have done that. And so, you know, I'm a good example to young people, you know, and I want to go to different schools and encourage them and also yeah. visit young, um, older folks, you know, yeah. and visit the hospital and just use my voice also. You know, I was blessed with the voice, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to sing, that's to awesome. Sing. Now, I, I have to ask a question because I, what I find fascinating in pageants is that it's it's very competitive and mm -hmm. people don't and every young woman who goes up has invested a lot of time, energy, emotion. And somewhere during the pageant you start to realize, you know what, I'm 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 doing good. Like there's a confidence change that takes place. At what point did you realize uh, during the pageant, you know what, I'm I'm comfortable where I am. I still gotta work, but tell me about that. <laughs> okay. Um, the answers and questions. Uh -huh. that's, that's the section yeah. that I realized that, you know, I got it. And What was your question? Oh, my question was uh, social, on social media. Mm -hmm. um, what advice would I give mm -hmm. to, uh, uh, to young people? And I believe I gave a great answer. I got Miss Eloquent. Ms. Yes. Eloquent. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes, yes, ma'am. And so uh, that was... And so what was your message? I said that we have pros and cons of using social media mm -hmm. and uh, a positive way that we use social media are you know advertising our business and communicating with other people and the negative are that you know we have bullying on social media and my advice was to use social media in a positive way and learn how to use it you know yeah. Yeah, that's good <laughs> So, I darling, tell me, um, you know, let, let's not lose the opportunity. You are experienced on pageant <laughs> stages as well. And this is an interesting time. I, I don't know what it is, Belizeans. We love pageants. We love to hate them. We love to criticize them. And we love to watch them. Um, but just tell me about being involved at this level, from the planning and the training. Um, why it's still so important to you after you've been through your own journey with Miss World and there was another one too, right? Yes, there's yeah. a few. Yeah. <laughs> there's yeah. another one. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I feel that Belize has potential. Mm -hmm. We, on, an in, on a local level and international level, I feel that we have so much potential in our young women here. And what I've been trying to do is start from a pretty, well, not young, young age, but at least like 13, 14, start training them. That's what I've been getting into. And preparing them for local, national, international pageants. Yeah. I feel that Belize could compete with countries like Venezuela, Colombia, USA, Philippines. We could get there, but we need to prepare because pageantry takes preparation. And I feel that if I had been trained really, really well, mm -hmm. we could have done, well, I could have done better because I feel like I could have done better. But yeah. this, that is what I'm trying to give back and do for younger people that, for Belize on a whole, that we could get on that international level one day. Let what has pageant you. life though done for you mm -hmm. that you are so passionate that you want others to have it? I. 
Well, I started off as a tomboy. Ah. I, was never, I remember I was never those early <laughs> interviews. That was one of the things you said. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not a girly girl, mm. or I wasn't. And I feel like pageant, pageantry unlocks something else in me where I connected with my more feminine side mm -hmm. of it. And I, I feel that I could give, like, just give back um, pretty much. When it, and then, like, I, pageantry is, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Yeah. <laughs> now, I was just talking about how it's impacted you on a mm -hmm. positive level. It, it's just pretty much unlocked that feminine side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel that, that even if you're, regardless of your gender or whatever, mm -hmm. I feel that pageantry mm -hmm. is something that you could excel in and be a voice for mm -hmm. people yeah. regardless of what. So how would you respond to critics who would say perhaps there is better, more productive things that a young woman can do as opposed to participating in this kind of an event where in Belize, let's be honest, it seems to be as controversial as it is popular. How would you, how would you respond to someone who has that position? I feel that pageantry is something that we, it is, in Belize it's not as major mm -hmm. as it is in other countries. Mm -hmm. But if you go outside and like what, that, what I did with Miss World and you get to see how important it is for them, mm -hmm. you can be a voice I feel like I can be a voice here in Belize and you know, t send that message to people that it is something big and for you to choose a platform that you can v voice your opinions on, it can be heard here and outside internationally. Yeah, yeah and, and you're right, there, the, the, I call it a love-hate because we love to hate the local uh, pageants mm -hmm. but once we have an international uh, representative we are a thousand percent behind yeah. them with high expectations with not so much training yes yeah. but i do believe that we as belizeans we need to support our um, ambassadors more yeah. mm -hmm. we need to be behind them 100 percent, even if it's not the person that you wanted to win your pageant like just support them as yeah. a country that is why jamaica has so many you know successful queens because their entire country supports their ambassadors and yeah. i feel that belize needs to do that well, generally, we know that all of Belmopan is supporting you. <laughs> uh, are there sponsors or people who have helped you along the way that yes. you'd like to say thank you to this morning? Yeah, first of all, I want to thank God because without him, I wouldn't have been here. Uh, I want to thank... I want to thank Miss <laughs> um, Chantel. She's the coordinator in Belmopan, all the, um, the committee. Drew, Rhonda, Miss Idley, Miss Jacqueline Burns, and everyone who supported me, and also the committee here in Belize City, you know, they've helped me a lot. And who else? Every, oh, my Roaring Creek people and all my <laughs> Belmont Panis, everyone who supported me and who supported me that night, yeah. I really appreciate it. So do you have higher aspirations beyond Queen of the Bay for pageants? <sighs> being a singer. I want to be a professional singer. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is how we start to know the name Jenny Lee from now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we want to thank you for coming in and just telling us why uh, you wanted to enter this pageant, what it was like, and, and definitely wish you the best of luck thank in you. your upcoming year of reign. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. All right. We're going to go ahead and take our final break. And when we come back, we'll have our wrap-up. So stay tuned.